guys, it is the Gaming News set here once again. And we are back with the second Lord of Hunger marquee event. This is number two, as you can tell from the second. And this is where we will be owning the Sith Assassin Shards. Now one thing I wanted to say, starting off, is the reason I'm wearing this hat in every video is because it's just on my desk and I just chuck it on. So, exploit weakness can inflict evasion down and can bypass enemy protection when stealthed. So, this is our first ever look at the Sith Assassin. So, I believe we are up against Jedi characters in this one. So, we are going to select our nice Empire team. That Palpatine lead will really help out against the Jedi. Sith's basic attack, Sith Assassin's basic attack has a chance to inflict evasion down, as we just saw there. Now she gets another attack. So, what are they? Gain stealth and foresight for two turns. Uh, I guess we'll use it. Yes, awesome. Okay, so we got our stealth and our foresight, which is... Fantastic. Not that it really matters at such an early level, but I imagine it'll be helpful once we get um, into that final T. So, that I'm already keen as a bean. Um, we do have the Mr. What's his name? Um, Mr. Sith Trooper, who I'm currently leveling up. And he is going quite well. I am a big fan of him. And I'm hoping that I enjoy this little uh, Sith Assassin just as much once we can use a strong version. So let's go for the right. Ooh, that was a quick and deadly attack. So, we beat the first one nice and easy, as expected. 10 shards and 150k credits. Pretty standard. Next one, we will receive our 20 so once again, you only have to complete three of the tiers to unlock the character. And the fourth one is just for some bonus um, shards for, I assume, when the character becomes... Whoa! That was a lot of damage. Man, that did more damage than uh, Mr. Darth Vader's basic. He, and even though the uh, little Sith Assassin isn't very strong um, stars and gear. So that, she's doing some decent damage. I know that she's probably equipped to take out the characters on the screen at the moment. But, I'm pretty bloody happy with that, eh? Okay, let's get rid of you, because he has ability block. Do some of that. She's doing some damage, and I'm a fan. I assume she is set up. I know she's stealth and kind of buffs, but I think she's also set up as an attacker. I believe that is a big thing about her, is her ability to deal some sweet damage so let's go stealth yep lovely and go for the force lightning on everybody not bad Darth Vader get to crush oh we killed two I think of the units there sure trooper not quite up for the kill because it's sure trooper and he's only three stars for me sadly but we beat the second tier easy peasy uh, squeeze my lemons. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. Electrocute deals increased damage for each buff consumed off Sith Assassin. So now we have a level 75, uh, 7 star Sith Assassin with 5,311 power. So now, I imagine, she's going to shine. And she is also a speed demon. They've given her all the buffs so that we can see how much damage this does. Ooh. That was 7,000 damage, non-crit, using four or five buffs. So I imagine when you get her to the point where you can buff the crap out of her, she's going to be, I'm assuming it's a she, but I reckon she's going to be ridiculous when you get her to that point. So, I also quite like that Jedi Sentinel. There's so many Jedi basic units that they could add into the game, like the Sentinel, that you can play as. Like the Sentinel, the Temple Guard. The only one here we currently have is the Consular. And obviously, he's okay as a beginner character, but no one really uses him. And Jedi teams have fallen a bit by the wayside. 
Not many people use them now unless they already had a good one when Jedi were kind of peaking. But Sith Assassin, I'm a big fan. Honestly, her and the Sith Trooper, with how good they are, I can only imagine how good Nihilus is. Unless he's worse than both of them. Maybe. That could be the case. I doubt it, but it could be the case. Okay, let's go for our stealth. Lovely. Get, uh, might as well get the offense up as much as possible so that we can just wipe out this enemy team without a second thought. The Shore Trooper gets the kill. So, dealing 5,000 damage um, non-crit at only level 70 is pr seems pretty good. Like, I could be wrong. That seems like some solid damage. The Sith Assassin is more effective when grouped with allies who apply buffs and debuffs. Well, I do have a debuffing team, so she should work quite well. Not so much of a buff team, but, you know, if worse comes to worse and this doesn't go how we want it to go, we can always change up the team. Maybe go for a buffing team. So let's go for this attack. Ooh, did you see that? We ignored the protection. Got the stun. That is important. Okay, so now is when the game starts to get a bit trickier. We all know this. We've just got to get through it. I'm also very curious still as to what this purple protection means. Because I don't... It doesn't seem to be doing anything different. But I could be wrong. Maybe I'm missing something? If you do know what it's doing, make sure to let me know, guys. Because at the moment, it seems to kind of just be normal protection. They just wanted to spice it up for this event. So this is going to be harder than yesterday or the other day. I can already tell just because they are taking a lot more damage than they were yesterday or the other day, the uh, clones. And, you know, Jedi can be a bit annoying, especially with healers. The last phase does have a Barris on it, so that might be a bit of an issue for us. But, at this rate, we have everyone alive, which is the most important thing. Let's attempt to get as many debuffs as physically possible. Even more, thanks to the Vades. And who do we want to kill? Let's kill the Consular to prevent all possible healing. And get the ability block on him. Now, can... Uh, yeah, let's do this. Ooh, 12,000 damage and a stun. That is fantastic. I'm never going to complain about a bit, an ability that does stun. Especially with 12,000 damage. That is ridiculous damage. Don't hurt me. Oh, you can't hurt... You can't touch Darth Vader. He is the tankiest of tanks that doesn't have taunt. Man, he's ridiculously tanky. Get the kill. Yes, good work, Sith Assassin. You are on the ball. Now, the thing with Sith Trooper and Sith Assassin is they are basically... They seem very adept at giving themselves buffs. Which is fantastic. You want a character that doesn't have to rely on others for buffs, that can give themselves those buffs. Now, this is where it looks like it's going to get a bit difficult. Let's reduce... Nope, okay, I was hoping we'd get the critical chance down on Windu, but apparently Mace Windu actually doesn't take damage. Or debuffs, sorry. Oh, no, he does. Okay, we need to try and kill Barris as quick as possible, so she can't get the mad healer oh lovely sith assassin you belong on my team you really do i need you and i've already got you technically because we already beat tier three but now we just need to beat this tier and we will have you on the team and we will love you because you seem fantastic i am aware that this is probably a close to maxed out uh Sith Assassin, but I don't care because eventually it might take months, it might take years, but eventually we should be able to get her to maxed. And that 12,000 crit damage is nothing to sneeze at, guys. It is nothing to sneeze at, considering, like I say, I don't 
think that she's maxed. Being level 82, not maxed, and also only 7,000 power is definitely not maxed. So, we've taken out the, um, the hard units in the battle. Now we just need to clean up these little runts that are left lying on the Jedi Temple floor. Um, and claim our Sith Assassin as a prize for this epic defeat. It's like they were all in the Jedi Temple and uh, the, the, the Sith and the Empire just stormed in and just went, Sorry, you need to die. And that, that's the end of that, guys. You know, these, this, um, this last Jedi Knight gun will not be guarding anything after Boba Fett wipes her out with one attack. <clears throat> and that, ladies and gentlemen, was another easy uh, marquee event. I know we only two started, but that doesn't matter. Because now we're going to activate the Sith Assassin. Activate. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. There she is. I forgot to let that play out. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I imagine most people will have her anyway. And be able to experience the activation for themselves. So as per usual, we're going to equip the gear up to the point that we can in this video. And if there is one little piece of gear that we don't have, I will attempt to farm it so that we can get the assassin up as high as possible without too much time put into it. Now, the reason is I also am trying to focus on the Sith Trooper at the moment. So I don't want to put in too much investment into this little lady here. If the Sith Assassin isn't a lady, Please inform me that I am being a uh, feminist, or no, that's not the word, whatever, that I'm being a uh, assuming gender, <laughs> but I, it looks like a female. And this is how they design their female characters normally, with this body shape, the um, slender, you know, body shape and whatnot, but maybe it's a male. Maybe it's just a very feminine male. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. But we are just equipping all the gear. Easy peasy to farm until you get to about I think one or two off purple, then it becomes a bit more difficult to farm gear. But for now, we are repping out this gear, repping it out. Easy peasy lemon squeeze pants. Please don't squeeze my lemons again though, because that was not a fun experience last time when you did that. Yes, I'm talking to you. You that are listening right now thinking, mate, how do you know I squeeze these lemons? You, you know it was you, and I know it was you, so just, just don't do it again, that's all I ask. I'm not going to name and shame and name you or whatever, but I'm just going to tell you, don't do it again, and we'll be all sweet, guys. I cannot afford to get this last little baby piece of gear. I need one syringe, and I have already used up my thingamajiggies. So let's just upgrade these abilities twice for now with all the epic materials. And there we have it guys, that was Sith Assassin and the Marquee event for Lord of Hunger 2, which has now disappeared from our event list. We have two more in which we get Nihilus or Nihilus in both of them. Stay tuned for that in five days guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below if you got the Sith Assassin and if you got all of the shards available and guys. Peace out.